Okay, so um, you guys have on your um, computer your best friend, Mr. Internet, right? Oh, come on. Why don't you dock over here, please? All right, he's more of an acquaintance. Okay, so go to Uncle Google and you have Uncle Google. You can search Google. Okay, actually, we could have just typed it in the search bar up there. And go to um, type arc toolbox. Okay. Press enter. So Arc Toolbox is a website that somebody put together and it's got a lot of useful information. And then it has CAD scale factors very conveniently put there for us. So we can click on it right away. But just go in here for a moment and you'll see a lot of information that might be useful for you, right? Uh, professional practice information, materials information, Representation, graphic representation, geometry, scale. I'm going to go to scale, right? And it can teach you some things about scale and how to scale stuff, right? Um, I'm going to go to CAD scale factors, okay? And as you scroll down, CAD scale representation, CAD, CAD scale factors under Arc Toolbox, you'll begin to see architectural scales. Okay, this will be, if you choose to go on an architecture, this will be with you forever. <laughs> right? Whether you're a good architect or a bad architect, you're going to need to know this. Um, I don't know what that meant, but anyway. Um, When you look up on the whiteboard, what scales do we have on there? We have a quarter inch scale and an eighth inch scale that we're going to need, right? Okay. So let's look at our scale factors. So I'm going to look for something that says one quarter inch equals a foot. Here it is. Quarter inch equals a foot. Okay. The scale factor is 48, right? But you really want to look at the viewport scale. The viewport scale is the one that is a decimal. That is the one that is going to reduce your drawing by 48 right? So I would write on a piece of paper next to me um, one quarter of an inch equals 1 over 148 scale factor. One over one forty eighth. Great. And let's write down on a piece of paper the other thing that we're going to need. What other thing are we going to need? What other scale are we going to need? One eighth. One eighth. So here's my one eighth. So I'm going to write on the piece of paper next to me that my scale factor for one eighth, and I'm doing this with you guys, equals one over ninety six scale factor. I'm going to need to type that number down in the command line later. 1 over 96, 1 over 48. All right. Some people like every office I've worked in, everybody has this sort of whole chart printed and pinned up in their workstation. All right? It's something they look at all the time. And after a while you memorize it. So nobody looks at it. Uh, please be very careful not to use the engineering scales. They look very different, right? We're not doing whole numbers. We're always in fractions. We're still on the imperial system for some reason here. So we're, you're, the title of your class is architecture. Use the architectural scale. Sometimes students scroll so fast and they see these numbers and they get confused. So. This is not an engineering class, and we're not drawing at engineering scale. 
So please be very careful not to use these. You need these guys. Okay? All right. Um, how can you figure this out sometimes really quickly if you don't have this chart in front of you? Do you know how you can figure this out? What's 4 times 12? Every foot has 12 inches in it. And if I'm doing a quarter inch, right, as long as my numerator equals 1, I can say, I'm not looking at the, I'm not looking at the uh, 1 over 48. I say, oh, what's 4 times 12? 48. Oh, then it must be 1 over 48. I'm doing an eighth of an inch. What's 8 times 12? Yeah? If you don't know it, calc it. 8 times 12. 96. Oh, it happens to be this number over here. So it'll be 1 over 96. Okay, so if you can't, if you lost this chart and your numbers are, your numerators are 1, okay, just multiply the denominator by 12 and you'll get your fraction. All right, so I think now we know where to navigate to find our scale factors because we're going to need those.